Now that you know how to create a block, we're going to go through the process of actually inserting attributes, which tell something about the symbol that's been inserted. In this case, we're going to use a plant list as our guide. The things we're going to enter are the attributes or the key, which is simply going to be the abbreviation of the botanical name. So we'll be entering the botanical name, the common name, and then the size of the tree that's going to be planted. The quantity is something that's going to be extracted from AutoCAD. It's going to count the trees and tell us how many there are. So we're going to be creating Platinus acerfolia. So we're going to, under the Insert tab, go under Block Definition and hit Define Attributes. And this brings up the various options. So the invisible specifies that the attribute won't be displayed. Constant, which gives attributes a fixed value. In this case, we're going to be entering in key and PA for Platinus acerfolia. And so that's going to be constant for all of these symbols. We'll specify the insertion point on the screen and the text height will be equal to one unit so that we'll be able to see it clearly. So we hit OK and we'll just simply place the word key here on our plant symbol. Next we're going to enter in the botanical name And you'll notice I put in an underscore because this needs to be just one word. It's going to be constant and we're also going to make this invisible so that you won't see the botanical name of the tree displayed on the screen, which can tend to be quite cluttered. The insertion point, we're actually going to allow AutoCAD to place this attribute directly below the previous attribute. And we're going to, oops, let's get caps off, type in our Platinus acerfolia. And hit OK. The next attribute is going to be our common name. And the common name for this is London Plane Tree. And this we do want to be, or we still want to be invisible. Same height, and we want to align that below the previous attribute. And then finally, we're going to be putting in the size. Now in this case, we do want the size to be visible and we want to align that below. However, we do not want this to be constant. We want to be asked, what size is this tree? You can put in as a prompt. That just simply is going to remind you what you need to enter. And we can put in a default value of four inches, but in case there are trees that need to be a different size, it allows you to put in that attribute on your own without having to define a separate symbol. So here we have all of our attributes. Now we can make this into a block. So we select all of those elements. We select Create Block. We're going to call this T for tree and London plane tree so that when we see this block, we'll know exactly what it is. Pick an insertion point, which is just simply the center. Select our objects. And you can now see the symbol. We hit OK. Gives us one last chance to define the default value for the tree, keep the four inches, hit OK, and we now have a block. What we can do to make this more useful is to actually write this block out as a separate file. So we just simply enter in the wblock command, 
and we, our source is our block. So we just simply select London Plane Tree, which already has an insertion point in the object selected, and we can just simply hit OK. So that file has now been saved. What we'll now do is insert this. So if you go to your drawing, you can see that we've already entered in one block. We can insert our London plane tree and simply insert that over top of the other. We'll keep our four inch size and we can now simply select the copy command, select our tree, that, the block that we just inserted, and use the insertion point from the center and simply enter in another instance of the tree. You'll notice that the copy command also copies all of the attributes. You can also use the array command to create rectangular or polar arrays of trees. So in the next step, we're going to be extracting all of the attribute information from the blocks that we've inserted into our drawing.